All right, full tour of the Indonesian supermarket starts now. First things first, my lovely wife Ivana was born and raised right here in Jakarta. So she speaks Indonesian naturally, and I'm sure she will be able to uncover lots of secrets or at least things she remembers, unique items from her childhood. Whereas I will be reacting in real time with you guys as I am a Canadian boule. To be clear, I have been in Indonesia more than a few times, but I can't say I've really paid attention to the supermarket until now. So come along with us as we look for some unique items and the pricing of things in the Indonesian supermarket. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you'll notice in any Indonesian store is the numbers are very big. So for garlic here, it's 5,000 rupiah. Now it's important to know that 15,000 rupiah make one American dollar. So although it looks very expensive, 5,000, it's only uh, 33 cents for garlic. And this is sort of a common thing in Indonesia. It looks expensive, but it's... Uh, millionaire in Indonesia. Yes, we're millionaires over in here. Indonesia only. <laughs> so here's a pretty affordable price. It's on sale 50% off, uh, about a thousand rupiah, which is like a 15th of an American dollar. And Ivana is saying it's called snake fruit. The inside is like garlic, like this. The inside is like garlic, and the outside is sort of scaly like a snake. It sort of comes off in your hands. That's why it's called snake fruit. I think I've tried it before. I think I didn't love it. You didn't like it. I didn't like it, it's but kind of crunchy but sweet sweet and crunchy and yes. and and has a texture of garlic <laughs> no. sort of does a little bit a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and right beside the snake fruit is this fruit here called langkang i guess the english name is longin i can't remember if i've tried this one but it's a bit like lychee, says Ivana. And this is gonna be a common experience in this video. Fruits and vegetables that I have never seen. Now this one I've had before. This one's called jambu ayer, which yes. means water apple. Yes. It's kind of flavorless. It has a bit of flavor, a good crunch. Almost like pear, but more watery and less flavor. Yeah, less flavorful pear. I assume it's pretty cheap. Yeah, this, this amount here is about a dollar. And of course dragon fruit, which for me looks like a million bucks, so colorful and beautiful, but honestly, one of the most overrated fruits. What? Not much, Good. not much flavor. No. Not that delicious. I like it. And I like the little seeds in it. It makes the texture like, I like biting into it, like tick, tick, tick. <laughs> I'm still learning the ways of the dragon fruit. <laughs> oh, oh, gula jawa. This mm. is sugar from the island of Java. Yes. This is really good stuff. Made palm from sugar. palm sugar. Yeah. This is good stuff. I love how they put it in the fruit section. Fruits and veg and sugar. Uh, all different types, whether it's coconut yeah. sugar or palm sugar or gula jawa or gula mera, which is red sugar. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good stuff. <laughs> and the world's smallest lettuce. Look at that. That's a baseball of lettuce right there. What's a baseball of lettuce cost? 50 cents for a baseball of lettuce. <laughs> Have you seen lettuce this small? Even the big ones so are small. <laughs> okay, something new. Here's something new. Do you know what this is, Ivana? Sir Sac. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's really soft. Have you tried before? Yes. It's like a little uh, white fruits with lots of seeds inside. Almost like a, almost like a, um, like a soursop? No. Yes. It is like a soursop. Yes. Something new. This is a very common experience in Indonesia. Fruits and veg that I've never seen. I've been here more than a few times. Never seen this in my life. <laughs> Brand new. And so there are lots of fruits and veggies that Indonesians are proud of, including mangoes. Now we've been to at least five or seven countries. I think they have the best mango in the world. But you can add Indonesia to that list. So Ivana is going in for the Harumanis, one of the best mangoes, 25,000 or so yeah, harum per means, kilogram. Harum means uh, fragrance, manis means sweet. Yes, sweet fragrance these are the mango. sweet smelling mangoes. Let's just buy two for now. I don't know if they're good yet because it's just the beginning of the mango season in right. Indonesia. Right. Wow, check it out. Huge apple section. And the prices are pretty reasonable overall for each apple. And I did not expect this many varieties. Looks like about five to eight thousand 
per 100 grams of apples. And I didn't expect seven or eight varieties. All right, so two things I did not expect in the Indonesian supermarket. One is there are a lot of people working here. Oh, yes. Who quite often have free samples, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> but it seems like every aisle has a person in it. And also didn't expect the relatively loud music. Not sure you guys can hear it on the speaker, but uh, The weekend and Jason Derulo and all of your Western classics on a loud volume in the supermarket. <laughs> now, typically Indonesians are eating rice with every meal. But there is a bakery in this supermarket selling bread. And if you believe it, they even have fake bread. <laughs> Dummy bread, not for sale. This is uh, display purposes only bread, which is something new. And uh, I guess this bread looks pretty good, smells pretty good. The prices are sort of fair, a dollar or a bit over a dollar. And even got some sausage bread or what looks like pizza type bread. Uh, interesting because typically Indonesians are eating rice with meals rather than bread and usually bread is more like a sweet snack yes. like this more like a dessert this must be pandan because it's green uh -huh. normally when um, a food item is green in Indonesia it's not because of food coloring it's because of pandan the which, leaves. which is a the leaf from a coconut tree yes not coconut tree but the fragrance is similar to coconut uh-huh yeah. And I've said before that the amount of bakeries in Indonesia is off the charts. Yeah, so Usually many. sweets and baked goods and sweet bread the best, and cakes. The best really, really good. Not to mention some very good donuts in Indonesia. I will use this moment to say shout out to Jayco. <laughs> really, really good donuts in Indonesia. Good, no? Yeah. Oh my gosh, looks so good. <laughs> and so here's the tiny section of actual sliced bread. What's the price of like a cheap, uh, the price is like like two bucks for a cheap? Uh, yes. This is like your Wonder Bread equivalent. It looks but like this kind of bread is not good. You should buy it from the bakery section. Fresh True. Bread. Better. Better. Yeah. Durian ice cream. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Now, if you have the choice to choose which flavor you want, which one would you choose? I'd go dairy and come on. Really? Oh my gosh, mung bean ice cream? That sounds bad. That's gotta be bad. I don't come like on. The beans one. <laughs> there is also red beans. Red bean flavor. I don't like the red beans. Uh, if I came this far to Indonesia, I'd go for dairy and ice cream. Come on, gotta try it. <laughs> now, here is the entire dairy section. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Ivana was saying when she was a kid they might not even have cheese at all. So this is the, the new and improved cheese selection in Indonesia. Yes, uh, we only had the fake cheese, like the slice. Ah, uh, super slice. Now you've got some proper blocks of cheese, yeah. which look to be pretty familiar. Uh, the prices are okay. Oh not goodness. too bad. How fancy. Oh yeah, even some fancy ones. Gardelli. And here's the entire milk section, which is pretty slim pickings. Looks like it's about a dollar fifty or so for. And most of the milk here, they're UHT. Oh, that's the worst kind of milk, honestly. But so this is this is UHT. This is fresh though. This is proper fresh milk. Yeah. Oh. yeah. A nice carton of fresh milk for a buck fifty. Not bad. Do Indonesians drink milk like a glass of milk? Not really. Not really. Maybe with a coffee. Mm, not really. Coffee, we usually drink it black with sugar. No black? Milk. Oh, black with sugar. Yeah. But I love milk. <laughs> coffee and milk. <laughs> with that being said, let's go check out the coffee section. So this whole row is all tea, including some free samples here. Give it a try, Ivana. Oh, tambagula, yeah. Tambagula, no sugar. Go ahead. It's good. So yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank you. And like I say, the whole row here is tea. Ivana says her favorite one is Tong G, I think it's pronounced, and it's 50 cents for 25 packs. So pretty good price overall for tea. And I believe the next aisle over is all coffee. And so it seems like this whole side of the aisle is all instant coffee, believe it or not. Whereas this side is all the good stuff. And it seems like every brand here is from Indonesia, one island or another. I'm not even sure you can find Brazilian 
or Colombian or any other coffee, to be quite honest. There's countless coffees from Indonesia, and uh, I guess that's why they're so famous for it. Yes. Here, they only sell Indonesian coffee. And I believe Luwak coffee is the one where the animal here actually eats the fruit and poops out the bean. And this is what makes it so expensive, is uh, somehow this animal knows the really good beans. So it becomes the most expensive coffee in the section from uh, the Luwak. This is the most popular brand and also the cheapest. Kapal Api. So this is... Is this instant coffee or real coffee? Oh, this is real, real coffee. coffee. It's just already grinded up. Yes. Uh, coffee grinds. Yeah. yeah, quite good price. I mean, it's a buck for 160 grams. 100% pure coffee. And local, I bet you. Yes. Nice. So in Canada, quite often, uh, people think you look quite beautiful if you have a nice tan, especially in the winter, because it's proof that you went south and got some sun. But in Indonesia, the beauty standard is pale skin or bright skin. Yes, so, you can see here. All, not all, but most of the products have whitening in it. Bright beauty, you'll see. Maybe bright and clear. So it's skin whitening products, yeah. which is something new for me. Brightening. Bright. Every every word, every product has the word bright. Uh -huh, bright, uh -huh. bright. Yeah, skin brightening. Dozens and dozens of products of skin brightening. Something new for me. Hey, hey, look at this. The world's most expensive craft dinner. This is like uh, more than $2 for craft dinner. In Canada, that's a buck. That's, that's the import tax on the craft dinner, isn't it? <laughs> I'll show you Indonesian pride. Indomie. They're like thousands of flavor. Indomie with different flavors. It's actually instant noodles and you can find even like different soto flavors. Soto lamongan, soto mi, and there's fried noodles, there's the boiled one, chicken curry. This is Indonesian pride and costs 3,300 for one. Now, in terms of the meat here at the supermarket, you will not find pork at this particular market. It is a Muslim majority population country, although there are Chinese supermarkets that have pork and alcohol available. Although I am surprised to see the Australian beef section, which looks like it's selling uh, steak, which this is like eight bucks. So not cheap exactly for a small piece of steak as well as the USA beef section. Let's see if they're more or less expensive, about the same eight bucks for a piece of steak and of course you'll see the japanese as well as the korean cuts a uh, lot mart is actually korean brand that's not too surprising i think this is a local brand and this Which is, is still expensive uh no? that's like five bucks let's say for a good sized piece of steak uh yeah. kind of expensive yeah but in canada is cheaper no no i don't think so no? <laughs> but similar let's say Yeah, I tell you what, the price of beef is not too cheap, is it? No. I guess chicken is more affordable. Yeah. This is like two bucks just over for two chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. And a whole chicken will cost you about four American dollars. Although you can see it's a small chicken because it's called I am Kampung, which translates to village chicken. Yeah. So this is like, uh, when you say village chicken, do you mean like it's running around in a small village, yeah, like not free, from a factory. So potentially more healthy, although less meat. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's something interesting. It's more tough, the meat is tougher. Yeah, the joints are harder to get apart, the yeah. legs are harder to break off. Right. But potentially better for you. Yes, healthier. Yeah. And so here's the, air quotes, regular chicken. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's cheaper and it's plumper. Although the reason it's plump is because it's got uh, hormones and preservatives yeah. and all of these things. But still. So you can see the difference. Can Kampung looks almost bony. Yeah, bony. And this one's so plump. Yeah. Are, are most Indonesians eating the Kampung? I know your house uh, is Kampung chicken quite a lot. Yeah. Well, half half now. Nowadays. Uh huh. <laughs> you like, you like. 
Wow, and even a huge fresh fish section with the cascading smoke. I'm not gonna show you uh, too much because I actually cannot stand the smell. Sorry, guys. You can really smell it. Here. I can, I can. <laughs> Hey, there's something interesting. The full-size squid, or the big squid, are more expensive than the small squid. There must oh. be some sort of better flavor of the, of the smaller yes, yes. squid. It was like, uh, it was more expensive. Yeah. And I tell you what, this store is absolutely massive. There's a huge food section over there, all the aisles in the middle, and I believe there's even like televisions and uh, electronics down there on the far end. So almost like a Walmart in here, uh, superstore. All right, so here's your condiments. Uh, we've got a tiny mayonnaise section, looking like two shelves worth of mayonnaise. We got a couple bottles of mustard. You guys know me and mustard. And then we've got soy sauce for, I don't know, 25 uh, shelves worth of soy sauce over here. <laughs> and actually in Indonesia, they like sweet soy sauce quite a bit, which is, yes. to be honest, really, really delicious stuff. And I guess a pretty good section for ketchup. Whoa, no kidding. Four, four bays of ketchup and then three bays of chili sauce. That's fair. Now, in terms of chips, this is the imported chip section. So you got a few bags of Lay's, which are not cheap, by the way, five or six or seven dollars with all the familiar uh, flavors, paprika and barbecue and cheese onion. But here is the local chip flavors, which sometimes potato chips, but quite often cassava oh. chips. Yeah, this is cassava, cassava, but they're so good. And uh, much more reasonable prices. It's like 10% of the cost. Over here is like, let's say 7,000. <laughs> and over here is like 70,000. So it's like a 10 times value for import tax, I guess. Uh, let's just say this. We will stick to local <laughs> chips for our Indonesia trip. So Ivana, translate some flavors for me. These are the cassava chips, local uh -huh. brand. Rasa jagung America, American corn. American corn. And uh, cassava. And chips. cassava chips. Okay. How about this one? This is just original, which original I guess is just salt. salt. Oh, salt and salt garlic. And garlic. Okay. Barbecue. Okay. Uh, ayam lada hitam. Lada hitam means uh, black pepper chicken. Black pepper chicken. What's, what's balado? Balado is uh, a dish from Indonesia and it's spicy. So okay. you can see the chili. And garlic, I guess. Yeah. And you know, I am Geprek. I am Geprek is chicken. Fried chicken with sambal. Spicy fried chicken. Okay, so and pretty. This like midge. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they got meat flavor. It does look like little chivap or little meat. Okay, we get one bigger this. <laughs> now for me, I can't really find it in me to eat this stuff. But Ivana <laughs> loves it. It's ch my childhood snack. Seaweed chips. Well, it's not seaweed. They have barbecue as well. You know? Oh, but barbecue what's the what's it made out of? I think it's I don't know flour. I think or potato flour. I just can't get over that seaweed flavor. <laughs> it's so fish. No, it's not. It's it is. It is. Ah, this is the local potato chip brand, Chitato. 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 Uh, 10,000, yeah, much more affordable than uh, the Lay's. Right. And the yeah. colors are the same thing. It's it's grilled chicken, it's <laughs> it's uh, cheese flavor, right, right, standard right. sort of cheese flavor. And then again, grilled seaweed flavor. I mean, you would you would like this. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it, guys. I tried, I really tried my best, but it's just off my palate. So just to level up from the seaweed potato chips, there is something here called this is called karopak liquor, no? No, ikan. Karopak ikan. Ikan means fish. This is a fish cracker. Yeah. Uh, if you like fish, this will be your dream come true. It's a kind of good texture, good crunch cracker, but the flavor is just fish. Kabam! <laughs> and this one is uh, less than two bucks for a huge bag. Uh, good snack if you like fish. For me, not so much. It's good. Eat it with like... Mm. Oh, check it out. They do actually have a small alcohol counter here. Let's check out the prices just for argument's sake. Bintang is the local beer, one of the more famous and popular local beers. For a six pack, it's going to be like eight American dollars, which is really not too bad. Is it zero percent alcohol or is it real? No, 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 it has alcohol. That's a pretty good price. Eight American bucks for a six pack? That's not yeah. so bad. This is Bintang from Bali. 
bintang from Bali. And high noon. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fruit Loops. My favorite. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, very nice. And so it appears all the oil is gonna cost you an arm and a leg. For example, this bottle is 10 American dollars. Uh, it is one of the more expensive ones, but I think typically Indonesians are cooking with palm oil, which comes in big bags, like two liter bag, and it's much cheaper. Uh -huh. Now, this is the local Gatorade. It's called Bakari Sweat. It tastes amazing. I think the flavor is supposed to be, uh, I think it's supposed to be a grapefruit flavor, but it's so good. Uh, and it comes in a can, which is super refreshing and quite affordable price. It's actually better than Gatorade, to be honest. Pokari Sweat. I believe it's actually Japanese. Uh, I'm not sure. But in the end, this is what Indonesia drinks for a sports drink. Really, really good stuff. They have Coca-Cola, but no Pepsi. Oh, wow. This might be the best country in the whole world. They got Coca-Cola and no Pepsi. So it's about a buck for, uh, what is that, a liter and a half of Coke. Although a lot of Indonesians are drinking something called table toll. Can you find table toll here? Yeah. This is it, no? Table toll. Yes, but usually it's a glass bottle. Yes, uh, that's the original glass bottle. So table, bottle. so table toll translates to bottle of tea. Yeah. Uh, this one's plastic, but this is a really good thing in Indonesia, really commonly drank, and it's best in a glass bottle, which yeah. I guess you don't have right now. No. But uh, probably, you think Indonesians drink more Coca-Cola or table toll? Table toll. Table toll. Most popular. Most popular drink. drink. It's table toll. It's good stuff. It's like a sweet tea. Tea. Black tea. It's I would good. say it's better than nest tea, honestly. Yes. For nest sure. tea is just sugar. This one is tastes like brewed tea. Yeah. It's, it's good sugar. stuff. Table toll. Would recommend. And so I think we've officially left the food section. We are into the towels and Hot Wheels housewares. I think they're even selling televisions at the front yes, over there. Electronics. So really a superstore. You could even buy a little small barbecue right here. Not bad, come on. Quality. Come on. Nice. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear Drake playing in the background. <laughs> not sure you hear oh, me you when the hotline bling. Woo. All right, final review of the Indonesian supermarket. They don't sell Pepsi and they do sell Coca-Cola, which is a step in the right direction. Uh, they got the music really loud, like a nightclub. And there's an incredible amount of employees. It really feels like they wanted one in each aisle. They're very attentive. They're very attentive, and honestly, Indonesian people, in my experience, are just very friendly. They're very quiet and soft-spoken, very helpful. Maybe, well, I, maybe I'm biased because my wife is Indonesian, <laughs> but uh, it was a good experience overall. I was kind of amazed at the price of the beef. It was quite expensive, yes. in my opinion. And right beside that was chicken, which was pretty affordable. Yes. Sort of interesting. With all that being said, it was a good experience. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.